Huh. I'm Shiloh from What the Crust Wednesday, and you're watching The Cartel Show. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Is it safe to say there's no better feeling than feeling special? Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of What the Crust Wednesday, where we're going to talk about uh, Elon Musk. So, Elon Musk the other day, he showcased his Optimus Prime bot that he's using, right? Optimus, he's, I guess he's, maybe he's a Transformer fan or something, or I think he just kind of likes the name, right? Other than just being optimistic, right? Um, he showcased the robots and what they did, and now when I first saw the robots, though, I was looking at them and something seemed off, okay? I looked at it and I examined, I, I thoroughly examined said robots and when I, when I came to my conclusion, I realized that some of this stuff is a little faulty in how he presented it because when you look at the robots verbatim, you're like, oh, this looks sick. And then they start talking and you're like, wait, is this some sort of super high scaled AI model that he just generated right in front of our eyes? I mean, these robots were talking more fluent than the Ninja Turtles, right? So it's like, I couldn't believe that they were talking so fluently. And I think it was on stream when I first saw this, right? Um, and so given due time, uh, it was further explained and examined that apparently the bots the bots are controlled remote they're, 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 they're remote controlled and i think they're telegraphed so it's like they're they're like okay the ambiance of like oh my gosh look at all these robots are sick right but then it's like they're, they're like halfway baked and also okay so so i have i have, I have uh two sort of convoluted opinions about the topic and elon musk in general so a lot of people dislike Elon Musk, okay? A lot of people hate Elon Musk. They, they they just despise him. I think it's just, you know, if you're if you're if you're the richest publicly, the richest person in the world, then it's kind of like you're going to have snarky remarks. And also in terms of like if you're a billionaire, you got to be cutthroat. You probably have chopped some heads off, not actually, but like I mean maybe, but you probably fuck some people over basically, right? To become a billionaire, you got it. Cuz look, People who aren't billionaires won't know how to won't know how to be a billionaire. So look, there's just no way you can ethically become a billionaire. Somebody's gotta suffer. So look, my opinion on Elon Musk, I actually like Elon Musk. Oh my gosh, it's a crazy take. I know. In 2024, if you like Elon Musk, you can So look, here's 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 my take on it, right? So with the um lithium or, or, or with the electrical cars right you have the electrical cars that he's trying to implement and stuff like that and he's basically trying to revolution revolutionize travel so people can travel easy also the cost and expense for travel can be a lot less just everything overall in general can be uh good in in terms of evolutionizing travel and so here's here's something that i think is kind of genius it's kind of genius in his report of showcasing his 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 event that he did the other day like the we robot event so in the case of lithium batteries and and electrical cars because you got gas cars hydrogen cars and you got electrical cars the thing about electrical cars is they run on lithium and lithium is extremely expensive to find and get and so the process of getting lithium batteries causes a causality in mass deforestation and this mass deforestation can harm the environment in very uh, numerous amounts of ways i mean you're literally destroying the environment they're talking about the livelihood of many plants and animals and the way they live now i think that that is very um it's 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 uh I think that in some ways you can see it empath uh, ill empathetical, but it's also very philosophically smart because look, because my whole thing was like, dude, if you're cutting down a bunch of trees trying to make a lithium batteries, that's going to fuck everything over. But in the instance of where he said, so in that instance, it's like, if we're going to make this true progressive cut to all electrical cars, we're going to fuck over a lot of animals, like 
just be prepared to fuck over a lot of sentient beings. But, but, however, in his We Robot uh, presentation, he did say that instead of having parking lots and things of that nature, you could also flourish those uh, areas with plant life. So, uh, it would be the reforestation of, uh, uh, you know, amalgamation of uh, the ecosystem and biology flourishing in, in uh, uh, areas and relative towards uh, through parks and stuff like that. Now, the thing is that kind of throws me off is a lot of those, a, the, a lot of reason why we have deforestation is because we want to stay away from bugs, pesticides, things that are disgusting. So in, in theory, the deforestation does help, but I think that the reason why we chop things down is so we can get away from that. And that's still stuff. It still oxidizes things in, the, in nature and stuff like that. So I, I like his ideas. I like his ideas. I, I, and I think that a lot of people are just I, the, the problem I have is that a lot of people are. I, I, I want to say virtual singly, but I think that it's also a reside in. He's a philosopher. And so I like some I, I like anyone whose idea is thinking about the future and thinking about uh, progressive nature and thinking past the present thinking in philosophical ways and actually trying because think about it if you were the richest person in the world imagine if you didn't even try or you were just like you know what i'm saying i feel like as the most publicly rich person it's kind of your duty almost to be this uh i guess innovative and and expand because elon musk is smart so what do people want to say he's a dumb or, elon musk is smart he's a smart guy right you, you can you can have your argument he's smart so now that doesn't mean all his projects that he's doing all the nitty-gritty work and all that stuff but i think he is involved in a lot of projects like <clears throat> he got his start in engineering it's not like you just lose all that f those fundamentals so not to be a, a elon blazer right because there are a lot of fault in the things like like that deforestation and reinforestation it could be fine but you'd have to make sure that thing like that the, the reforestation is clean and cleansed and there's not bugs and shit and like like it's simple as that like simple things of like the the ecosystem the ecosystem of a uh, nature and like obviously they're gonna be like wild animals in the park and shit but i'm saying like bugs uh, fucking mosquitoes wasp and shit they like they 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 gravitate towards that and there's nothing that can stop a wasp from flying over a building or flying through a fence you know what i'm saying there's no bug protection besides uh spraying pesticides around and trying to kill everything so look i like the idea and obviously it's going to take a very long time but when we look at the robots that he did he had these robots and these robots they seemed cool like off of the start but then when you look at them further you really realize that it does look uh very finicky very fake very like uh manufactured obviously it's a manufactured bot but it seems i think that the fluid the fluent movement of the um the bots are kind of good right like they they did move pretty well in terms of functionality now in terms of speed though in terms of speed they were slow as fuck they were slow as shit balls so in a practical sense it's kind of like I can see them being efficient, but you know that little uh, that little dustpan. You probably have one. Those little dustpan like robo circle thingies that like vacuum the floor. Those things are moving more fast and efficient than than one of those robots. And it's like I can see that you know those things can't pick up things, and these robots can. not But I mean, right now he's got you got to work on the mobility aspect. Those things are slow as fuck. So look, we're gonna look at it right now. So this looks sick, right? Like. And in practical sense, this looks amazing. Let's be honest. And when I and and and, and when I was looking and I was hearing this, look, he's like, "How are you, John? How are you?" And that right, it, it's it's the fluidity that was throwing me off. I'm like, how is he just speaking so fluent? Like this is like, it seems like a model, an AI voice model that's like already perfect. It's like, where did he get that from? What the crust? Where you were from? Where you were born in uh, the Silicon Valley? Where do you live in San Jose? Los, no, I live in Los Gatos. Los Gatos? Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Where do you live? There is. Where do you live? Bigger. So, like, the movement, yeah. like, I think the movement looks awesome. real, kind of. You know how, like, people, like, generally, they don't just stay, sto like, still like an actual robot. 
and he's kind of maneuvering me, around nice. And then you listen to the voice, and it's like, there's no way that's not a guy. Well, awesome. Nice to meet you, Optimus. So I think the overall arcing theme is that the bots are okay. They're okay. And the problem is, is that they look so fucking... Or not they look fake, because it's obviously a robot. The voice, it's, it, for me, it, it leaves a distasteful taste because it, it makes me not so uh, excited for the future based on the fact that right now you can't even give him a real voice. Why don't you give him a real voice? Where's the voice? Even a little face or something. It's like, dude. So then following this, apparently Tesla dropped uh, almost six billion uh, in the stock market, allegedly, uh, based on the fact that a lot of the things in here were faulty. This is the event, which almost presumably seems like a, um, like a, an IRL Tony Stark like showcase, you know, when Tony Stark was presenting himself as Iron Man. This right here looks like people are not as excited as I guess he presumed them to be because it, I think in theory this stuff does look and sounds nice but when you think about it in the practical sense of like getting rid of gas fossil fuels getting rid of all these valuable sources of energy it really does kind of destroy the fundamental infrastructure that we've built for like the last hundred plus years or centuries of time that we've done building all the infrastructure for the uh automobile industry and so looking at this uh showcase here's the uh robo taxi which he arrived in and all driverless uh you'll you'll be able to take a ride in the cyber cab there's no this is the theory right is that with those hover fucking taxis right there's no back door there's no back window so obviously you, know, you can't use the taxi um the thing is it's, it's it's supposed to be that by whatever year everyone will be in these taxis i don't know if that it, it, and and for me it's like this is just won't work it won't work now even though i like elon it just won't work because you got to think about it's the same theory of people basically saying what if in in years time will everyone just become this like uh, pan trans like uh, they them thing right and it's everyone's want to be different and almost need it to be different for their mental capacity is that it's going to change people's want to be anything or do anything so like for instance i like cars i like super i like my favorite car is the super right and so I'm not going to want to drive in this taxi. I'm not going to want to drive an electrical car because I like supers. And so my want or need to be different. And unless we start making electrical supers, hey, I'm all with it. But it's like the want and need to go that direction for everyone. I don't think will always be the case now because people like loud cars. It sucks, but people like loud cars and they've grown accustomed to the centuries of time of using automobile, automobile cars as a form of transportation and tweaking their car, paint job and, 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 and things of that nature. And I guess the, 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 the counter argument is that, okay, well, you can get a faulty muffler or you can get like a, a fake muffler, a fake, you know what I'm saying? And you make the car loud, but it's not real. And people's want to be different is going to contradict that in, 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 in due time, easily. Now, with that being said, he also implemented something called the Robovan. This thing looks like a fucking uh, hair clippers. It looks like uh, like uh, like hair clippers, like some sort of, but it's, it's, it's like a hair clipper on wheels. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This shit looks ugly. This shit looks ugly. I'm sorry. It looks like the front of a speed train. Who wants to drive in the front of a speed train? This shit looks ugly. I'm just saying. As a van, in a practical sense, this shit is ugly. I don't know why they went for this build. It looks ugly and it looks... This looks like the rendition of something that's already going to be pre-outdated. I mean, like, look at this. Also... Look at this abysmal car. 
what happens if you need Dude, it? Dude, look at it. Uh, it looks like it's, it's already old. Like, it looks like it's supposed to be future, but it looks old. Like, looking at the back of it, like, think about it. This is what I'm thinking about. This is what I'm thinking about. That's, like, the first version of the Robovan. And then they're probably going to remodel the Robovan eventually. And that one's going to look so much better in, in terms of look compared to this one. This one already looks old. It already looks old. Like, he wanted to go for super futuristic, but I feel like simplicity is what futurism really contributes to this is like just ugly it's just ugly it's so fucking ugly it looks like the front of the polar express this yeah i'd be pissed the fuck off now the thing is it's not innately wrong it's like why are there lines on it the lines give this ugly like old look I, I think so it looks old and retro-y. I think that it's not bad. Like, the inside looks amazing. But the outside looks like dog shit. Dude, the inside looks beautiful. Look at this inside. This inside looks so sick. What the fuck? It's like a spaceship. We're in the Robovan Enterprise. But the outside? Fucking ugly. Redo it. It should be. It should look like the, uh, the Robo Taxis. Those look nice. Those have simplicity. Those look like actual f the future. This right here looks gross. It looks gross. It's gross. It's 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 horrible. It's it's, it's th th this. I'm not with the Robovan. Whatever it's called, Robovan. Robovan. Fucking Robotussin, bro. Like fucking Robotussin. It makes me sick to my stomach. That's why. It's it's okay, but it's not really. It's 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 not really there. So I think that in the future, it has potential. It has potential. And the thing is, this implementation of all electrical vehicles is so beyond practical in a sense where that means that everyone collectively like we'd have to be like uh you know an oriental like japan where a lot of people are respectful like i feel like japan and them they'd be way more progressive and easier because they're so they're so much more nicer over there they're 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 more they smell nicer. They're just nicer people. People are more agreeable. They're more respectful there. And then here in the United States, in a practical sense, trying to get everybody, like, you're not going to get a freaking MAGA, like, uh, fucking doo-doo, chews dip, dip chewing, truck driving. You know what I'm saying? He wants to drive that fucking truck as loud as possible. I have a whole story about a loud truck. But he wants to drive that truck as loud as possible in the most inconvenient, most arrogant way possible because it, it likes, he compensates for it for his tiny cop. Let's be honest. Niggas who got big ass trucks for no fucking reason are compensating. Let's be honest. You right there listening, if you got a big loud ass truck, you know, we know, we know, we cost you 4K. But look, um, <laughs> I, 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 I like Elon, right? I like Elon. And I like his nature to try to improve the future. Even if people want to say he's a con man, etc. At least he's trying. I can give him, at least he's trying. At least he's trying, right? Because niggas would hold that against him if he was an asshole billionaire and he didn't do shit. At least he's trying. Now, this seems like a false positive though. And a false promise. That's the problem. And I can understand the nature of uh, where he's getting at. But... I think he should have just went at it with a better I don't think I don't think this is fully thought out. I don't think this is fully like the renovation of deforestation, etc., is okay, but we still have to think about the the accounts of how practical it is, how long it's gonna take, people's need and want to change. You would have to be running a dictatorship to be able to get everybody on board with lithium cars, which is impossible. Um it's impossible. So uh, more of the story is it, it's okay, it's okay. I think that I think it's fucked up that he false but because there was no sort of communication basically saying that yo, by the way, these robots are remotely controlled. Like, dude, such a false pro. Because then he's saying that these things are gonna go for twenty thousand, thirty thousand dollars, and you can get them on your own or etc. And robo uh, the robots are gonna either. But, dude, where the crust? How much? How am I, how is my robot? Like, you're making it seem like I can just talk to my robot? Oh shit. Like he's an actual human or they. Sorry, I don't want to assume the robot's gender. He's making it seem like 
uh you can just talk to it's like another it's it's like a pet it's like you're, it's like another human it's it's part of the family but really you can't even talk to the fucker because there's a guy behind it and so i just feel and then what about the practical sense of like imagine you're sleeping and this robot's like standing next to your bed or some shit or like you wake up and you see a fucking robot there holy fuck that'd be scary please tell me it has an offline mode um or like an uh, a, a mode where you just cut that bitch off and, and it just stays off and there's not like a, it just stays on a charger forever oh that'd be so bad so i respect his need to want to do uh, and, and be progressive in the future but i don't think that he's going about it in the most efficient way as of right now as of right now i don't think that's the case and then if you want to talk about twitter right you know twitter uh i i have my pins on twitter right um i use twitter mostly most of the time for research also i just see myself doom scrumming a lot of times twitter is actually enjoyable if you don't take things too serious and i think the culture of twitter is that hatred it's it's brood and hatred and it's brood and ra ra rage based content and in that case you can say he did ruin twitter but one thing you can't say is that he did not allow everybody to have a voice and that propaganda is being or propaganda is being spewed on twitter but he's allowing everybody to speak and i think that that is a um I think that that's a necessary feat for how controlled the narrative used to be and how it was very propagated for a specific niche and being politically correct all the time. Now, the problem is you do invite a bunch of hatred haters and, you know, Nazis, KKK members, etc. So it is fucked up in that sense where it's like, damn, he really just dropped this bitch. He took, he, he dropped the fucking price of Twitter. He dropped all the fucking people out of the company. He dropped everything and said, here's Twitter, speak your voice, say what you want. And whenever any crazy event goes off, we'll make sure to put up the most correct narrative, which is just community notes. And there's a whole debacle in the community notes being faulty, etc. And if community notes says this is true, then this is true. Um, but look, even though I think community notes does go off a, a good amount of research. I don't think it's always just like them just yapping on community notes. I think there's a lot of validity in community notes a lot of the time. Now, uh, Twitter is, I, 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 my thing is like, sometimes I find myself on Twitter scrolling a lot and, and um, sometimes I feel like the culture of Twitter is to make satirical jokes. And sometimes I'll tweet like a satirical, something I think that's self-deprecating and people might see, think or see it as me truly being serious but in an instance i think it's the nature that all of twitter is truly like that and then there's like the little apricots in the midst of the <laughs> amalgamation of twitter where it's like you don't take that you can't take twitter serious like i feel like there's, there's actually general people who are like truly that that and then there's people who do it for like rage baiting clickbait and like just trolling a lot of it's trolling, right? And you just can't, I feel like you can't feed too deep into Twitter's non uh, 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 nonsense, right? Because it's kind of like, at the end of the day, it's pixels on a screen and it's like, well, I mean, what can you do about it? You know what I'm saying? Um, Twitter itself, I think it still, it serves a, a good purpose because in terms of like when debates are going on, great memes, Instagram, now, if you and I, I, it took me a while to realize, Instagram is just literally screenshots of Twitter. Most of Instagram is screenshots of Twitter, right? And then there's like, um, and then there's like photos of people, and then that's it. Like, you got people's lives, and then you got screenshots of Twitter. That's dead ass how Instagram is. So, I think Twitter, Twitter still serves a good purpose in terms of being communicative, a communicative property. Also, Twitter is literally the largest database in my, it's, it's the largest conscious sentient database there is. It's literally the biggest group chat in the world. It's the amalgamation of everyone's brain being everyone's, it's a collective brain. It's the best AI model that you could ever run. If you wanted to train your data, you'd probably want to use Twitter, right? Because you're talking about so much data amongst so many imperfections so many training models could run off of the imperfections of humans and how everyone thinks and etc based on twitter it's truly if you want to advance technology advance the future you want to use twitter you want to own twitter 
so I can understand why he bought it. Now, did he do a dog shit job at it? Yes, because first of all, why is it called the Everything app? Where is everything? It's called the Everything app, but where is everything? Where's the, where, like, I thought, I thought he was gonna like do a complete new digital interface, have like videos, like YouTube videos. Like you have to renovate the entire app. He, he kind of just, it's like when you when you when you when you uh when you buy a place right and you and you want to like outsource you, you you just got your real estate license you want to outsource the place that you just bought and you want to renovate it so you can sell it for a higher price you want to make sure you, you get everything he just like put in a new microwave basically and like that's it should have you know re redid the whole s synopsis otherwise it's just the same shit plus corn in it you know what i mean so look and not corn the Twitter user, but corn, like, you know, because corn doesn't, right? You get the joke? Ah, he's so funny. So look, I just talked about myself in third person. I just talked about myself in third person. Not real. So look, um, I think that he is, I, I like Elon Musk because out of everybody and a lot of the billionaires, he still has the right nature and he is going in the right direction in terms of progressing the future. But in terms of the practical sense of how he's done it, it's been kind of a shit job you can't even lie it's been a shit job so i mean uh with that being said dude i think that's really about it i mean that's gonna wrap us up for today uh more of the story dude i think that um you know elon elon's i think at least he's trying i think that's at least he's trying um and in regards to uh you know everything else in his personal life it is what it is you know that's his personal life etc i can't really you know people go through things nobody's perfect um, but yeah, dude, I think that this is kind of a disaster, if you will. And the fact that, uh, he's even allowed to do this is, it's insane. It, it's insane. Money really does have power. But with that being said, yeah, that's gonna wrap us up for today. So, uh, I'll see you when you're older in like the future or something. When we're driving lithium cars and shit or hydrogen cars and they explode. All right, peace. Ah!